This past Monday would have been the Hickman soccer team's senior night. For Hannah Larson, it was supposed to be a time to celebrate and remember. But due to the COVID-19 pandemic, her senior season never got started. Well, sort of. It's a 20 minute glimmer of hope. It was heartbreaking for all of us. To honor the Hickman seniors. It's just sad because I'll miss out on the memories. On Friday nights from 820 to 840. So I know everyone wanted to play. Honks instead of cheers. I don't know, it's just crazy. Nothing, nothing like this has happened before, so no one really knows what to do. An empty stadium for now. We're going to miss it, yeah. But that's nothing new for senior soccer star Hannah Larson. <laughs> yes! Almost every coach at Hickman has come up to me at some point and said, hey, I, I see your soccer girl out there at 6.37 in the morning. The QP midfielder's routine has not changed. As soon as I could drive, I would go out early, get in work before school. Her Hickman career may be over, but the work is just beginning. If anything, she's working more because she has more of the time. Now I feel like most days I'll get two and a half, three hours in. The senior has no off switch. She went to Hawaii last summer and she had her ball every day she was still working. And I was like, you're in Hawaii. It's okay if you don't work out. Her determination was about to pay off. And that was really sad because I've had that goal since freshman year. Larson was well within reach of multiple QP records, including goals and assists. Knowing that she had that opportunity and now it's gone, it, uh, I, was, I was bummed for her. It is obviously disappointing and heartbreaking, but when you talk about Hannah Larson in the future, I think she will definitely go down as one of the, if not the best uh, girls soccer player to play at Hickman. <laughs> Not just soccer. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's a good point because I had a senior night. Like, I forgot about that. Last fall, Larson was asked to suit up for the football team. Hannah is not a very large girl. She's, she's very, very small. It wasn't a concern for me, more so my parents. Go ahead. Well, my first question was, wait, can you get hurt? I knew as a, a group those boys were going to protect her. So Larson traded goals and aimed a little bit higher. I teased her a lot because she spent two years trying to keep her shot down below the crossbar, and now she's trying to put him above the crossbar. Her first attempt came in a road game against Battle. I was like, oh, boy. The first one got blocked, and then I was so scared. I was really nervous. We're used to seeing her be, like, so successful at everything. Her second attempt came late in the fourth quarter. On to try to kick this extra point as Hannah Larson out of the hole to Brown. It's down. The kick's up. It's high enough. And Larson drives it through. Yeah, that was crazy. I feel like the whole entire stadium lit up. Even people who didn't know me, I felt like they were cheering. Hannah became the first female athlete to kick an extra point at Hickman. To see her battle that and, and get through it was just a really cool deal and a really cool experience. And then to watch and see her mom and her dad's face in the stand. Yeah! yeah! We were screaming. It was so exciting. I was like, oh my gosh, she just scored. But it was nothing quite like senior night. It was really cool. I, I definitely appreciated it when I was there, but I would have appreciated more if I knew I wasn't going to get my own. We are In the freezing temperatures, it's cold. The Hickman kicker had to stay warm. Yeah, I'll never forget that. You know, one of my coaches is like, does she have a blanket? I'm like, what? It's just funny looking at her ponytail sticking out of the back of the helmet. All these big, big dudes. I mean, I see her legs, start thinking, like, you know, if I was her, I would probably want a blanket, too. What could you say? Like, it's Hannah, and she's making her field goal. Her goal may have changed, but it was the same result. And it's good job, Hannah! So whether it's a, a round ball going in or um, an oblong going through, <laughs> she still got to put the ball in the goal. So when those lights turn on at Alumni Stadium. It goes without saying that she is kind of the epitome of what you want in a student athlete. Kind of take away about. Hey, oh. <laughs> Think of Hannah Larson. She's the kid who's always smiling and who's always trying to pick up other people or her teammates. A standout student. She has been working really hard to get the valedictorian status. A soccer star. Hopefully she'll be remembered as being a soccer legend for Hickman. And Hickman's most popular kicker. Oh! Looking back, I'm like, yeah, that was really amazing. And that's probably a good, good lesson moving forward. Go play a fall sport, get that high school experience, because you might not have a spring sport. The lights may be out on Larson's QP career. I definitely feel like I've like realized how much of a positive mindset I have. But her lasting legacy will continue. 
there's other girls that are practicing and aspiring and wanting to be and telling their fathers like, hey, that could be me. That just shows the impact that Hannah has. My greatest memories have all been through sports. Glad I went to Hickman. Larson will play soccer at SLU next fall. Unfortunately, the Billikens do not have a football team, so her kicking career is likely over.